Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video we are going to look at how to save your charts as a template to create to mean creating those charts in the future much quicker and much more consistent. So on screen I have a small table of data and a chart that I have created from that data. And it represents this current month sales. And the pretend scenario is that this is something I do every month. And these reports, these charts need to be consistent. I have done some formatting to this chart to represent my company's brand, uh, which I'm imagining is this kind of orangey color. <laughs> And I've also formatted the kind of border of the columns. I've removed an axis, I've removed grid lines, added data labels, added a chart title. I've also formatted the labels to not show the decimals. So I've done a little bit of formatting to it basically. And I don't want to have to regurgitate that formatting every month when I create these charts from fresh data. So I'm going to right mouse click on my chart. So that I can choose to save as template. That will open up this window. I need to give my chart a name. I'm going to call it monthly sales. That seems like a relevant name. And click save. And as easy as that, that chart formatting has now been saved as a template. And that means if I maybe delete this chart for a moment. And imagine that we have a fresh set of data coming. Maybe this is February's data, the next month for long. I could highlight the range that I wish to chart. Uh, this is Excel 2013, this. If I click Insert, uh, so the method may be a tiny bit different in your versions. But you'll have this Charts area on Insert. And I'm going to click this little arrow in the corner, which will open up my large selection of charts. And I'm going to click all charts at the top. I say you may not need to do that unless you're in 2013, because recommended charts came out in 2013. I'm going to click on all charts. I have an option for templates in the corner here. And you will have all your templates listed in here. There's my one. Little preview there tells me it's called monthly sales above it as well. With it selected, I'm going to click OK. And then it comes. I just need to maybe add my title. So maybe this is February sales or something as a pretend example. And on we go, a nice consistent chart looking the same as every month and quick to create as well. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and more tips and tricks at computergaga.com.